to clear clarify what I mean by this uh, this sweep tail. Um, yeah, so in the track here it goes. So the sweep starts somewhere back here, it comes up through here, and it carries on through this. Okay, um, and um, it's just because it crosses the transition here, it it does in some ways um, reduce the impact of that. Um, but I also understand that it's quite important uh, tonally to have that in there. I just pulled in any random sweep here to show you uh, something that you could do as an alternative um, well there's there's two options uh, th this sweep doesn't isn't um, really suitable as an example but at least shows you us uh, the waveform here that um, that would correspond to a rise and fall sweep okay, it's a bit like that um, but there's two ways of doing it the first one is just to go Oops, okay, um, so here's the drop, and then when we get to the drop, we're just going to turn it off, okay. So and of course, that gives it a bit more dynamic, it makes the transition a bit more clear, um, it's, you know, the focus is very much about then back onto the lead part but then it might also feel a little bit dry after that transition so another thing that you can do that works quite well is just to leave a beat or a half a beat or two beats or three beats it just depends very much on the vibe and you can make this decision quite often by listening but if I just sort of put a gap in here you get this again not the best example perhaps a shorter no, that's not long enough. Maybe it needs to be even longer. This is a bit of a trial. So you get this kind of like a breathing in and then you stop and there's a pause that gives you room enough for the main hit and the transition to come in and then so you don't kind of completely lose that ambient texture. Um, just a couple of ideas there.